Ciao, welcome back to the channel. In today's short video, I want to go through a few of the new improvements that Android Studio Koala will bring us when it will be released in the stable channel. For now, Koala is still in the beta channel, so you will need to download a separate instance of Android Studio on your computer in order to use it. The three features that I want to test out with you today are the quick device setting, sticky lines, and the speed cable recognition from Android Studio. Let's start with the quick device setting. In Android Studio Koala, in the device mirroring panel, which is a panel window that you can uh, detach from the Android Studio windows as well and have it float around, allows you to mirror your device screen in order to see com on your computer screen what's going on on your device, but also to provide input to your device with your computer. So for example, if I open the Play Store, I'm using my mouse to do so, and I'm also able to search using my keyboard, as you've just seen. So the, let's go back to device settings. Device setting is now a window that you can open by tapping on this icon here, which is the common Android settings. If you tap on it, it will open this small window where you can toggle a few things. The first thing that you can see is the dark team. You can enable or disable it and it will immediately update your device with that configuration. It, the same goes for the gesture navigation. As you can see right now, my phone has the three bottom navigation, but I can toggle it to gesture navigation and go back to three bottom navigation. Another thing you can change is the font size. You can scale up the font size and you can see that the app underneath reacts immediately by changing the, the, the font size, but also the screen size. You can increase it or decrease it as well. All those settings are temporary, which means that they are uh, reset as soon as you, for example, detach your device. If I reattach my device, as you will see, it's back at dark mode and also all the other settings are back to what they were. If you don't want to detach your device, but just reset your settings, there is a reset button that you can tap in order to reset all the setting to how they were. Moving on to sticky line, as you can see under the name of the file here, there's nothing for now. If I start scrolling, there is a new line which is which becomes sticky on top of my editor. So if I keep scrolling, you can see that it gets the init function, the intent function, and then it will stick the readjust function as well. And then as soon as you get out of those function, the sticky line will fade away. It works well with functioning in the class, as you can see now on the screen. The problem starts when you, you, when you start using a composable function. A composable function, it kind of glitches the sticky line. As you can see, I'm inside the game screen function, but I'm here inside the view model collect side effect function. But then, for example, I enter the column function here, it doesn't get sticky, but then the closing bracket of the function gets sticky, but I don't know what it is. So what happens is, here is that it gets the line stick, but the line that gets sticky, it's where the open curly braces line is. So for example, right now you can see I enter the box and it gets stick. If I remove everything inside the box here, and just leave the box with the curly bracket here, it will be stick and show me where I am. So in order for the sticky lines to properly work, you will need to have the name of the function where the curly bracket is placed. So as you can see here, lazy vertical grid is also stick in the correct way. And just to let you know, this function well with both uh, side by side views uh, top of bottom, but also 
side by side it works on every in both of the window the last thing i wanted to check was the cable speed recognition this should be a pop-up notification in android studio that lets you know that you have connected a device which is capable of high speed but you're using a low speed cable unfortunately i'm unable to test it myself because the only device i have is the is a samsung galaxy a a13 which is capped at USB 2.0, which is 480 megabits per second, which is the lower limit that Android Studio recognizes as low speed. Uh, I know that because I've run a command on a terminal, which is system underscore profiler SP USB data type. And as you can see here, the Samsung Android device is speed up to 400, 480 megabits per second, which is USB 2.0. If you happen to have a device which has a USB 3.0 speed, but you're using a cable that is capped at 480 megabits per second, Android Studio will let you know that you can speed up the data transfer and everything else with that device using a higher speed cable. This is a good thing though, because that means that Android Studio recognizes that the speed limit is on the device itself and not on the cable that I'm using and doesn't show any notification to me at all. Each of the things I've shown you in, this vi in the video today, it's possible to enable or disable them through the Android Studio setting. So if we open up the setting and for example, if we want to enable or disable the notification for the speed of the cable you want to go into appearance and behavior notification and here you will see android device speed warning it is shown as a balloon and in the tool window it won't play a sound nor read aloud by default if you want to disable it you can just untoggle the showing tool window or no or use no pop-up at all i would recommend you leaving as it is as you will receive a notification for the quick device settings, this is a menu and toolbar voice. So you want to go inside appearance and behavior, menu and toolbars, scroll down to virtual device toolbar and expand this voice. Scroll down again and you will find a common Android setting voice. You can disable it by removing it. And then if you want to, you can add it back by getting this window up and by searching common android setting you will find it here and you can re-add it back so it will be shown here the last one is the sticky line which is under editor general appearance and there is this show sticky lines while scrolling which has a value as well which are which represent the maximum amount of lines that you want to be stick you can toggle or untoggle it by just checking or unchecking the checkbox. All three of these new features for me, in my opinion, are a huge daily quality of life improvement for us Android developers. As for example, the quick Androids, the common Android setting allow you to toggle dark mode, light mode easily and quickly. The sticky line also works really well until they fix the naming parameter of the curly braces uh, sticky line and last but not least the cable recognition is would be a huge improvement if you happen to have a high speed device but you're using a no cable or a cable not capable of usb 3.0 speed and thanks for watching till the next time see ya